I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I just want to thank you so much for listening to the program, watching the program. We are in the little cottage on the farm. It's raining, as you can see in the background. We're on the porch. It is a beautiful afternoon. The cattle are grazing right behind our production crew, and everybody is at peace. We've got swallows here from the Northern Hemisphere. And the thing that amazes me with these swallows, they, they fly so close to the cattle and to us. They, you almost think they're going to hit you, but they just sw swerve away at the last minute. I want to share to you, with you today a very special message. I want to ask you if you have any bitterness in your heart towards anyone, we need to confess it. And I'm going to pray with you at the end of this program that the Lord will help you. Maybe somebody has hurt you. Somebody has disappointed you. Unfortunately, it often happens close to home. But we've got to deal with it because, you know, bitterness is like a rust in a motor car. It's like a cancer. It doesn't stop. You've actually got to cut it out in order to deal with it. You can't just gloss over it. We go to the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and one verse, verse 15. Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God. Lest any root, here we go, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble. And by this, many become defiled. Beware that that root of bitterness, which can cause trouble in a person's life, and even sickness, does not overtake you. Confess it, pull it out by its roots, so that it can have no hold over you, and then the Lord will set you free. I want to tell you a little story that happened to me as a new Christian. I hadn't known the Lord for too long, and I was invited to come and to pray for the sick. And in this church, what we did was, at the end of the service, we asked anybody that was sick in their bodies to come to the front, to the altar rail, and to kneel. And then we would come and pray over them. And this one beautiful old lady came to the front. She was very nicely dressed. And she knelt down. She was a dignified woman on the cushion. And I said, what can I pray for? She said to me, I am suffering terribly from migraine headaches. At that moment, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that this lady had a bitterness, had an unforgiving problem in her life. So I said to her, I'm not going to pray for your migraine headaches. I don't believe that's a problem. I'm going to pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will help you to forgive that person who has got something against you. She was upset with me, I tell you what. She was livid. She said to me, I did not come here for that. I came here to be prayed for healing. I said, and madam, that's what's going to happen. And with that, she just broke down and she started to cry. And when she had finished crying, I laid my hands upon her and we prayed together that the Lord would deal with that unforgiveness, that bitterness in her heart. And she left the church. The next Sunday, she came back and she was looking radiant. I said, and how are the migraine headaches? She says, I haven't had one for a whole week. And that is the first time in many, many years. She had forgiven that person who had obviously hurt her in the past. She'd had a bitterness against that person, forgiven her, and the migraine headaches went and they never returned. Father, I want to pray for my friends watching this program now. Any who have bitterness in their heart, Lord, that they would forgive those people that had hurt them and be set free. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and goodbye till the next time.